So the 90 day rule, what is it and how does it affect you? So first and foremost, those who may not know me, my name's Darren O'Reilly. I've been in the property game for 30 plus years and now focusing on the service accommodation world. So um, I do get a lot of people ask me this question, what is the 90 day rule? Um, and here I will try and explain it in a bit more detail. So ultimately in its legal form, um, the Greater London Council Act of 1973, I believe, um, deemed that any any let of less than 90 days was deemed, any short let um, of less than 90 days was deemed a change of use, uh, it was deemed a change, a material change of use, sorry, um, and as such was subject to planning. So, and then the Deregulation Act of 2015 came in and that basically said that any lets, any short lets up to 90 days was not deemed a change of use and therefore not subject to planning. So <clears throat> ultimately, that commonly gets known as the 90 day rule, the 90 day thing, whatever you may have heard it, if you're, if you're sniffing around the property and looking to get involved um, and you're sort of looking at all the different strategies out there, you come across service accommodation, a lot of people always, always, always will come up and say, what about the 90 day rule? So let me explain it in a little bit more detail. So that was the legal version. Now in layman's terms, um, so basically the 90 day rule is, uh, it's made up of a calculation of the smaller nights stays. So argument's sake, you've got a two night stay and then you have a three night stay um, and then you have a five night stay. <clears throat> two, three and five, that's 10 nights that you have used up of your 90 day um, allocation if you like. So that's 10 nights of the 90 days. So you can still operate a short let business for 80 nights throughout that year. And it's, it's per calendar year that is as well. So, um, so any time over the 365 days, you can operate for 90 days as a short let business. So the, the confusion comes because of the 90 days. So you can effectively, it's any, any, any um, bookings uh, over 90 days do not count towards this calculation. So in other words, you could get, let's make the sums easier. Say you had um, eight, eight bookings of 10 nights. So that'd be eight times 10 is 80 you've still got a 10 day allocation within your 90 days. However, you could have a 91 day booking and a further 91 day booking. So that would make 182 plus your 80 days. That's, you know, so you've basically covered what 182 days and 80 days is 262 days um, of the year. So you've virtually got 100 days that you haven't filled on your calendar, um, you could get another 91 day booking yeah so any bookings over 90 days do not individual bookings over 90 days do not count towards the 90 day uh, regulation uh, uh, restriction sorry um, so I hope that makes it a little bit clearer on how it sort of calculates it um, and there's plenty of opportunities out there people do say you know oh, but how, how do you get these long bookings and stuff there's plenty of situations there I mean Name, name a few, you know, insurance claims, um, property's been flooded, someone needs to move out of their house while the sort of insurance claim goes through, it may have been a fire. Um, you know, insurance companies don't work quickly, so they may need a longer stay than three months. Um, what other sort of situations? A relocation, people coming to work into London, you know, just upheaving their family from wherever. I mean, my son's just done it, he's gone off to Dubai, he's done it in reverse. Um, but yeah, people sort of coming over here from the US, you know, don't know the area, they don't don't just want to come in and you know get tied into a 12 month AST when they don't know the area. So they look for short lets, which would generally be, or midterm lets you'd call that sort of 90 days plus, um, a three month to four month booking. So they are out there and you can get them. Um, so it's not just on the leisure market, that's where a lot of people get confused. Leisure market tends to be a lot of the smaller stays, um, you know, sort of two nights, we only operate a minimum of two nights, um, two nights up to sort of 14, 21 nights. Some people might come away for a month or whatever, but generally speaking, most of your leisure guests are sort of less than 90 days. So um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so it's a calculation of the smaller stays that go towards the 90 days. So there's three things you can do. Um, yeah, three things you can do. First off, um, what I suggest is you can do a change of use. So. Most properties, most residential properties, or all res no, most residential properties are C3 class, which is the, um, uh, what is it, the classification that the council give each property, or every property will have a classification of what it can be used for. So residential, uses is, residential use is C3. Um, hotel, 
type Airbnb style usage is, well not Airbnb, but hotel usage is C1. Um, so you can go from C3, you can request to have your, um, to request to have uh, the regulation, the regulation, um, to have the, uh, I can't think of the word now, to go from C3 to C1, whatever that word is. So you'd go to C1, C1 use. Now, there's a couple of things to note there. With C1 use, um, if you was, I wouldn't do this on a property you don't own. So because of the time involved, you don't own it, and it can cost a little bit of money to get the, to go through the process. Um, but generally speaking, uh, if there's a couple of other things as well. If you do go to C1, if it is your property, and you're choosing to do that, great, you can do that, and you can operate that. That allows you to operate outside of the 90-day regulation uh, restriction. Um, but if you want to sell it in future, um, to go from C1 back to C3 to residential, if you was going to sell it as a residential property, obviously, um, that can and does tend to be more tricky. Um, and also it can have implications with uh, mortgage applications and bits and pieces. So just be wary of that. Um, so that's one thing, change of use. Uh, two is just operate for 90 days on a short let business. Um, but like I said earlier, you know, you can still operate as 90 days and then you've still got the remaining of the year to try and get bookings of uh, 91 days. So I keep saying three, but it's three months plus, so 91 days plus bookings. So you'd have 90 days you can fill up as smaller bookings. And then you've got basically the rest of the year to fill up for bookings of more than for uh, 91 days uh, bookings. <clears throat> so yeah, so, so hopefully that helps you can just do that. And then third and foremost is um, do not operate in London. So I think it's, it, well, I not think it, it applies to Greater London, which I think is 23 boroughs. Um, ultimately, I say it's within the M25, um, but there's lots of areas outside of London. Um, I mean, Cambridge, Oxford are a few that sort of jump, jump aside. I've got friends and colleagues operating in the area um, and they're, you know, they're, they're operating, they've got plenty of availability. Uh, they've got high occupancy levels and they're generating some serious cash flow um, from that sort of business. So yeah, you know, so the three options are Apply for change of use. Um, only operate for the 90 days if you're in central London. And like I say, it's the Greater London Boroughs. So it's the 23 London Boroughs. I think there's a M25 and I think there's a few gaps at the, the top of the, just on the boundary line. I think there's a, a little area up there that's not, um, the boroughs that are not uh, included in that and possibly down in the, I'm trying to think of the map now. Yeah, Southwest, sort of Surrey. There's a few uh, boroughs there that don't operate in it. But generally speaking, you're within the M25. Um, you're gonna be subject to this 90 day regulation. So. Um, one, change of use, uh, two, only operate for 90 days, um, or operate for 90 days and then um, look for the additional uh, longer bookings um, outside of the 90 days. And then three, don't operate in London, operate on the outskirts where the regulation, where the uh, uh, restriction doesn't apply. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that's explained it a bit more, um, makes it a little bit clearer. It was, you know, it's, it, it's a big, con uh, Con bone of contention amongst a lot of people whenever they start operating and if you if you're looking to get started in this business um like i say you, you know don't london there's big bucks in london 100 percent. i will vouch for that personally um you can get some exceptionally night crazy night rates but you know you may get crazy night rates but you're only officially allowed to get them for three months of the year now don't get me wrong there's a lot of operators out there that are operating around this rule and and you know they're basically doing it in the basis that if if they get caught if they get a slap on the wrist they stop um but that doesn't really work if you're doing a rent to rent model so um yeah hope that hope that helps hope it makes it a little bit clearer uh thanks for watching um thanks for listening to me drone on um if you found that helpful follow me subscribe to the channel um if you want to get a bit more in-depth tutorials and bits and pieces um please join the subscription site that i've set up uh, link will be in the comments um, in there you'll get um, inf access to myself one-to-one -one for any sort of Q&As once a week. Um, you will also get, as it builds out, I will also be putting in master classes from a lot of my network that I know, um, my millionaire network friends, um, and also they will be experts in their fields for sort of mindset, um, money, business, general business usage. So you're gonna get a lot more value um, in my subscription site and you'll get some tutorials and some exclusive content in that um, or subscribe to the youtube channel for free um, and listen to the content i'm putting out on here so hopefully you found that useful um, i've been darren o'reilly thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys soon any comments you feel you want to put in below any sort of issues you might want to answer questions you might want to answer please drop them in there and i will try and run another video or i will do another video um, explaining my take on them questions so thanks guys appreciate your time